General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you. You're I'll be right back. God dang it. You guys can listen to them. Spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to the dragon's reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be a not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous that he need until he's dead. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky, or the Greybeards are so afraid of power that... Think about it. No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the beards? We have nothing to do. Make your choice, Dragon Boy. You're either with us or against us. Bitch. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed all the in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Oh, fuck you. Mm. Mm. I ain't killing Parthenax, she can suck a dick. If he does betray me, I'll feel really sad. I don't trust autosave. I don't think anyone trusts the autosave. Alright, let's fast travel to... Okay, so it's this way.
Okay, so we learned the shout so we can call the dragon's name and we'll trap him in the city. We'll kill his bitch ass. We'll let Parthenax live. Because I don't feel like killing him. He helped me out. He literally helped me travel back in time. So then I could. And then he helped me fight Alduin. So fuck them. Maybe I should equip the shout here. Nope, not items. Magic. Wow, I learned all of it. I learned all three of them. Sky, Summer, Dragon, Rin. Unrelenting Force, I got Force Rule Da. Alright, and then I got Wind Sprint. I don't I don't have all of that, but Alright, let's go talk to this dumbass. We're ready, Dragonborn. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on you. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your I don't part. Be I'm putting my city right in now. your hands. All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tear your hive. <laughs> hey, this is a make it or break it moment right now. ass over here. I miss kicking that dragon ass, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Yeah. What the fuck? Quit moving. Get your ass over here. Oh, stop moving. Steady now. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that damage. Ooh. Look at that. Yep. You feel that? Oh shit! Got him. I defeated him. What the? You, you bitch. Fucking bitch. Yeah. Oh, that. There we go. I was say that does not look right. Okay. The Ulbona. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this. In Seer Alduin, hmm? No doubt. Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship. 
whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Induran pa ok midobe navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. What? Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Mm. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. He's gonna betray me immediately. He's gonna be a dick. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. How come his mouth looks like a face itself? Like his nostrils are an eye and then his nose is like this long thing and then his mouth is like that. And then he has ears right there. That's awkward. It, it, whatever. Sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most Something to tell I can't believe that worked. You sure about that? You want Be to let that dragon to your funeral? Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Ah, fu I fucked him up in like 20 seconds. Like, just released the fucking thing. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. Just in case he betrays me. I fucking dare you. Uh, yep, let him go. It wants me to talk. Ready to see the world as only a Dover can. Yes, I'm trying to. Saran Uth, I owe you great oath. I warn you once you flow, Amadeus. <laughs> Look at me go. And that is the end of Skyrim. We have to wait next year until the next Skyrim game comes out. Or the next Elder Scroll. Not online, just the Elder Scroll. This is as far as I can take you. Why do I feel like that's a cliche in games?